Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Café à la Juventinita. And we're back, finally. Uh, it's going to be a nice preview for the Derby de la Mole. And, uh, yeah, the game that's about to come up within the hour between Juventus and Torino. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, um, I was exhausted yesterday, so uh, Dean and I couldn't do a, a proper preview, preview. So we're just going to take it in stride and... And continue on with uh, our daily work. He's going to come on actually right after the game. And we're going to get his, uh, you know, reactions. Uh, hopefully good ones. Hopefully uh, positive. Uh, and, and obviously hopefully a win today. So that we could keep Torino Bianconera. And uh, let's, get, let's get right into it. Because uh, there's a lot to talk about with Juve. Obviously the lineup's already out. So that's kind of good for me. Uh, just into some news, obviously the big things that were coming out. Awar was very close to Juventus, apparently, according to Le Keep and a bunch of other uh, sources. Um, the idea was the player was to be bought for $55 million and send Bernardeschi on an expensive loan. But it was all done, but Bernardeschi refused. So even more reason to hate the guy now. Um, Demiral will most likely miss four games now instead of just the potential of three. Um, Torino, Barcelona, Genova, and uh, Atalanta, excuse me. That's been reported from Tutto Sport. Um, and then, obviously, as time goes on, <laughs> there's uh, Gazzetto dello Sport posts that some members of the Juventus men are currently under investigation in the involvement of the Suarez exam. Let's see, uh, let's see how that continues to play out. Congratulations, uh, Cristiano, for winning the, the Serie A November Player of the Month. He scored five goals in three matches during that month, so I think he's had an amazing run, and uh, it's really nice to see him continue scoring for us. Even though I'd like more of a, a little bit more of a balanced approach, but that's okay. Uh, Juventus confirms that Fabio Paratici was notified by a notice of guarantee and right of defense. Juve strongly reaffirms the correctness of Paratici's actions and trusts that the ongoing investigations will help to clarify his position within a reasonable time. So. What happened? The Suarez exam was a farce. The director of the university and other people involved has been suspended for eight months. Some members of Juventus management are currently under investigation. Again, from Gazzetta. Suarez, what are Juventus risking? Uh, could be a violation of Article 32, which I haven't looked up. Uh, and the risk range from a fine to relegation. I don't know how that comes... Uh, I, I didn't know relegation was in the criminal code of uh, of uh, Italian law. So, anyways, I don't know where Corriere de la Sera pulled that one from. Um, and kind of just a thing to note, it was more of just falsify. It was, from now, what I've understood, it's more about Paratici falsifying information about what happened. So, we'll have to see what plays out. Um, and before I get into a couple couple of facts about the game ahead, um, let's get into that coffee. Obviously, we got our cup of uh, espresso again. Um, we got his Hazelino, um, the new version of Hazelino, uh, muffin or something like that. So, salute, guys. Well, let's keep going on. Actually, that's a really good coffee. Um, we talk about head-to-head between Juventus and Torino. 154 games played, 74-1 from Juventus, drawn 43 and lost 37. Goal scored, 235, conceded 155. And I remember last season, uh, before all of my previews, I, I had a, at least in terms of the big games, the rivalries, as Napoli, Merda, and even uh, Torino, I, I definitely put in a good history. Uh, so check those out again. And maybe we'll get into a couple in, in the reverse fixtures. We'll, we'll bring that back and talk about the derby. Uh, itself so let's look at the first derby de la mole was played in 1907 and it was also torino's first competitive match after its founding uh torino 1-2-1 the fields rivalry uh between the two teams was fueled by the fact that juve's former president alfredo dick broke away to form T torino football club and prior to the inaugural to this inaugural derby he was locked inside the changing room causing him to miss the game and having to listen to updates via players and staff um, great story there posted by uh, uh, Maurizio from around Turin and uh, I had to have that in there just because again if you don't know it's good to know uh, good to know the history the facts and, and all that so 
Let's get into the temperature of the moment with Andrea Pirlo. Um, he talks in his press conference, uh, the derby is a very important game. I played, I won, I scored. It's always a good game to play. Difficult, and there are so many emotions during the game, and we hope to have a great match. We're trying to gain strength after the game the other night because we had a little time to recover, but we were preparing the to have a serious match important because we need to, con to continue on our way in the league. We will try to bring in more players into the penalty area. Maybe with Alvaro, we were more present. Tomorrow will be more difficult, but the air has to be filled because the goals come from there. So winning in this UCL was important for ourselves, for our growth, and for the morale of the team. Now we work with more serenity. Uh, talking about some of the players, I ask a lot of things for of Chiesa, and he's doing good. He's a very good guy. A very good player, and it's not easy to be catapulted from Fiorentina to Juventus with all the talks that there have been. Dargusin is physically very strong. He's 18 years old. He must surely grow a lot on the technical level, but training every day with great champions will help him. And the other night, Sandro played a great game. He needs time to get back into shape because he was out for two months. It is not easy to come back. And thank God for that because I kind of knew that he wasn't going to be playing today. Um, but good. We don't need any uh, We don't need any rushing into anything. So let's continue on. Uh, Torino, a good team, well built with an excellent coach. They expect proactive football and have good players in all areas of the field. Um, the last game, I think it was pretty straightforward. It's a great shit game that showed we could oppose our will for the majority of the 90 minutes. Kays is a baller. Alexander's a baller. Tech saved our ass before the half. Um, Dino Kiev didn't really show up for the most part of this game uh, until it was really over. And obviously Tech played a big part in not, not allowing them to get back in the game. And the overall great performance with various improvements needed to be made. As always, let's get into this match. Facts, Juve Torino, Derby della Molle at the GA Stadium. December 5th, 6 p.m. CEST, 10 a.m. Mountain, 9 a.m. Pacific, and 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, Juve's record 4-5-0 with 17 points in 4th place. Torino's record 1-3-5, 6 points in 18th place. Torino in the relegation zone. And 11-point uh, difference, so big, big difference in where we are compared to them. Uh, Ronaldo at the top scoring of 8 goals. Torino's top scores Belotti with 7 uh, talk about form, Torino's form with loss, win, draw, loss, draw. Juve's form, draw, win, draw, win, draw. That's obviously in Serie A. Um, Juve injured. Obviously, we know Buffon, uh, Chiellini, Demiral, uh, Morata's on suspension. Torino has Verdi, Muru, Bazelli, Voivoda. Lukic is a game-time decision. Goyak and Milico all on the injured list. Uh, the, well, we'll talk about the last two games, talking about history. Um, November 2nd, 2019, which is last season, we were on the road, Juve won 1-0, and that was Delic's first goal, as a, and he uh, was obviously the only goal of the game, and it was his first goal for the club, so that was that was a nice moment. And then in July 4th, uh, 2020, which is weird to hear because of, obviously, the corona restart, uh, Juve 4-1, Dybala opened the scoring, Quadrado with the next goal, um, Balotti pulling uh, one back right at halftime, and uh, CR7 with the insurance, as well as Gigi, Gigi with the own goal to finish off Torino. Um, and lineup, like I said, I think Sky and Gazette have been uh, really, uh, for the most part, good, but mediocre in ways as well. I mean, they, they predicted Quadrado, Delict, Bonucci, Danilo, Kulusevski, Artur, Rabio, Bernadeschi with Dybal and Ronaldo, as we all say. Um, that was off the sky. Gazeta was putting Chiesa in there with Quadrado in the 3 4 1 2. Essentially the same thing. Kulusevsky on the right, uh, in defensive uh, position. Uh, Chiesa on the left. Uh, Quadrado goes back to right back. And again, it's it's a very similar lineup. Uh, for Torino, uh, Gazeta predicted a 3 5 2 with uh, Bremer, Lianco, and Itzo, Sirigu in goal, Rodriguez, Linetti. Rincon, Mete, Singo as your mid, and uh, Belotti and Zaz up top. Uh, yeah, let's see what, what happens. Obviously, it's confirmed that Chiesa's in, uh, in the lineup. And uh, why did you not show up? That's weird. Um, I had it prepared for you guys, so let's get into it. We said uh, Danilo Bonucci, Delec, Quadrado. That's confirmed as always. Kulusevski, Rabio, Bentancur, Chiesa instead of Artur. <coughs> Guessing the build off of um, 
of, of Bentancur's great performance and uh, Ronaldo and Dybala, which sometimes, like I said, these guys are they're just guessing sometimes. But uh, anyways, that's the formations. I think it's pretty straightforward. I think we need to impose our will. And um, let's see what happens tonight. I think playing through the middle is going to be always the always the you know the key factor. Uh, being able to use the wings when you need, but DiBala needs to stay up. Midfielders have to support the fullbacks. They need to be positionally aware. Uh, I think passing needs to be high volume and flawless. Uh, defensively, we've been uh, tighter, which is good. Let's see what happens with Cuadrado coming back in. Um, and again, clinical on the offensive end. We need to take our chances and we need to put them in the back of the net. So that's going to be all for today. I got my tor my uh, Torino or Turin blue and yellow, the coat of the colors of the city uh, in my hoodie. Um, let's hope for a win. I'm going to go prediction 2-0 again. Yes, I'm going with another clean sheet. Um, Dybala, Ronaldo as the goal scorers. And let's enjoy this game. Um, I think I'm going to leave these questions for when um, when Dean comes on. So we'll definitely leave that. Um, and uh, yeah, guys, thank you for all the questions. Thank you for all the support. It's been marvelous. And um, let's continue uh, with these videos. Let's continue with uh, the podcast. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe, follow on all platforms. Obviously, YouTube, Podbean, Spotify, iTunes, and many more. And uh, drop your comments, drop your questions, guys. Drop your questions. Uh, but anyways, guys, let's go Juve, Forza Juve, fino alla fine, and uh, let's get that W, boys. Ciao, ciao.